What's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one's the heavy one. All right. Down you go. Well, I'm finally excited to say, guys, today is the official start of the Tahoe SEMA build. And you may have been able to tell by what we loaded in the back of the Tahoe there. Um, we're actually gonna put the lowering kit on today. And as you can see, um, you know, I wasn't lying about this thing not being used. This thing is absolutely filthy and it hasn't been driven in, I don't even know how long. This spider has practically built an entire condo over here of spider web. So we need to give this thing the love it deserves. So you guys may or may not remember, um, we got this Tahoe for my mom and it's actually kind of become the, the grandma mobile. If you can see the car seat back there for the grandkid. And well, she doesn't really drive it. We've had it for six months and there are all of 611 miles on the uh, odometer there. And I'm pretty sure like 150 of those are mine. So when I heard that uh, Anzo Light, so when I heard that Anzo Lights was looking for a Tahoe for SEMA, I'm like, well, we've got a Tahoe sitting here. You know, as long as we don't go too crazy with it, I'm willing to, you know, put some work into the Tahoe and make it a SEMA Tahoe slash the coolest grandma Tahoe around. All right, well, we've made it to Preston's. Check out this sick uh, chase truck over here for Emberton's Racing. It's got a clean chase rack on the back, LED lights all around. Oh, and if you're wondering, Preston's has Jeep Gladiator Mopar lift kits in stock. Zach, don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, Zach. Don't do it. Oh, we lost Zach. That's not Snap-on, Zach. What are you doing? I'm gonna go drag Zach out of this Cornwell tool truck. Can't spend any more money. You gotta save money, Zach. What the hell did? Zach, can we put this on your tab? No. What? I don't want one. I need it in blue, though. I thought you'd buy for everybody here. No. That's not how it works? No, they just end up using all my shit. Oh, here. Buy this, put it in your toolbox, and I'll end up using it. No, what are we doing? Oh, that one, right there. Yep. yep. Use that compartment. That's all it's good for. It's good. Charging your phone and your lock for your wheels that's it that's all it fits oh you still, Dude, you you still not get, fit in this thing you still get one of these though that's cool randy's giving us a test drive in a 2020 here you, know, do you, you want to uh, use seat massager room? Uh, it doesn't have that no it doesn't no it's only fords yeah it's only fords oh your ford has it no, no. Mine's, oh no it's oh, a no. cheap one. Oh, okay so this is the truck that was in preston shop yesterday they just put 35s on it which i didn't know you could clear 35s on these trucks being that i've seen some of the other guys out there like jack's truck they're putting 33s and they're running into issues, but I guess if you run with like a factory offset, right? Is that what this has on it? Yes. Factory offset, you're okay to run 35 inch tires with a little bit of trimming. I don't know guys, the interior is still not growing on me on these trucks. I mean, look at the armrest. Look at Randy's big old arm barely fits on the armrest there. It's, it needs to like come out to here a little further. Dude, it's tight too. Like, yeah. like big kids can't sit in this thing. Uh oh. The cameras on these trucks are nice though. I mean, the quality's awesome. Do you have the... Oh, you got the mirror on, bro. You got to turn it on camera. There we go. Oh, oh look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Now we got a camera up there. It's way better. You like that? I don't really like that. I like a mirror. Ow, fuck. <laughs> I pinched my finger trying to get my damn phone out. <laughs> this truck's not meant for you, dude. No. Look, at, look at it. Like, your knee bumps the on-off button there. You're, you're a little too big for this thing. Stick with your Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a Kia. The Kia Soul? Kia Sophia. All right, well, we're done with our fun little 2020 test drive here. We've got the Tahoe ready. You excited? A little bit. Zach's all about the lowered life. He I likes lower not, things. I am not, I'm way over the lowered life. No, you're about the lowered life. You keep telling me to, to build a lowered dually. Because lowered dualies are rad. Uh, they're not my cup of tea. You guys know I'm big on lifted vehicles, and I actually planned on lifting the Tahoe uh, six inches, throwing some, like, 33s to 35s on it, not going too crazy with it because, well, you know, it is for my mom and it's got to be kind of practical. But being that uh, Anzo wants a lower Tahoe for SEMA, I just figured, all right, well, we've never done anything lowered. And to me, one of the few vehicles that look good lowered are Tahoes. So I said, screw it, let's do a lower Tahoe. So that meant we had to get a lowering kit. And well, the guys over at McGoy's stepped up and partnered up with us on this build and sent us their 2 3 drop kit. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, McGoy's actually does make lowering kits. I know they're well known for their quality lift kits. So when I reached out to them and we were talking about lowering kits and all that stuff, I knew that they have quality stuff. And a bunch of my buddies have been running McGoy's kits for years. So I figured, all right, cool. I would love to partner up with you guys on the SEMA Tahoe build. And then just look at, just look at their logo right there. I mean, does that not scream American? manufacturer of premium quality of Warren Whitting suspension parts. So I'm not exactly sure what's involved in lowering the Tahoe. I don't think it's that complicated as opposed to like lifting a vehicle considering, you know, there's only two boxes of parts here and that one's really heavy. That one's less heavy. So I'm assuming that one's got some springs in it or something. All right, let's see what we got in box number one. This is a heavy box. We got some hardware, sweet. 
Drop spindles, four wheel drive only. Now one thing a lot of you guys have been mentioning is why are you lowering a four wheel drive vehicle? And well, like I mentioned earlier, I had anticipated lifting this Tahoe at one point. And so that's why obviously we bought a four wheel drive and we typically tend to buy only four wheel drive vehicles just cause you never know. It's always good to have it versus not have it. So some of you were saying, well, why don't you go get a two wheel drive? Well, because we already own this one. Why are we gonna take a loss on the value dropping being that it is now used and then go buy a brand new two wheel drive? Like, no, nah, I think we'll just work with what we got. Got a sweet McGoy sticker that'll go on the uh, cooler. Big old burly spindles. Now in box number two, we've got some, uh, some coil springs and some, I don't know what those are. So those are shock extensions. All right, the wheels are coming out. Trying to film. So unfortunately, these tires and wheels are gonna be going back on after it's lowered today because we don't have the new wheels and tires just yet. And I've got a lot of faith in your guys' advice that 26s are gonna clear without anything crazy happening. Zach, do you got faith 26s are gonna fit? Said Zach's starting to tear the rear apart here. Not the first time you've heard that one, huh, buddy? Ooh. Oh, I'm funny in my own head sometimes. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but shoot, there's even spider webs growing up underneath here. Do every little duster we get all spider webs off? No. Is that standard? Uh, is that part of the a, installation? That's a that's a, the pre the what is it? The platinum package. Oh, platinum installation package. Oh, I, d I can't afford that. No. I can't even afford it, and I'm the one doing the work. You got it, buddy. Yeah. Look at that. Old springs are coming out. Oh, what is this nice blue thing on there? Uh, I don't know. There, let's compare springs. Oh, uh, 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 said it. Uh -oh. oh, that's like one of those... It's one of those little puzzle things that you get. You got this. You can do it, buddy. Maybe. There we go. There it is. All right. That's the difference in size. There we go. Factory spring, lowering spring. Yep, that's quite the difference. All right, so this is a 2-3 kit. If you guys know nothing about lowering kits, like I didn't, um, when they say like 2 slash 3 or like 3 slash 4, that's basically how much you're dropping. So a 2-3 two, th is they're dropping 2 inches in the front and 3 inches in the rear because typically most vehicles are a little bit higher in the rear. So now the springs are in place. Next up is the shock extenders, right? Is that what they're calling these? So basically, you guys can see the old shock location is up there. Obviously, this shock's not going to go back in that location. So, these extenders extend the new, they're kind of extend the shock mount location lower. So, in case you guys are wondering just how simple these lowering kits are, the back is already done, tires and wheels are already back on, and that took Zach all of like, I don't know, what, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so? So, now he's starting to take the, uh, the front apart. The front's got a few more things to it, but at the same time, I don't think it's that tough. Nuts and bolts, that's it. Look at how small these upper control ones are on these things. Look at this tire model over here. I think he works for Toyo. You modeling for Toyo? Or Nitto, are those Nittos? They're Nittos? All right, he's modeling for Nittos. It's a little warm in the shop today, so we gotta make sure Zach stays hydrated. We'll get him his favorite. Coming in hot. It's a football, catch it. You guys are getting good at that. You're required to drink this on camera per my sponsorship with yeah, Dr. Like, get, get this right there. There you go. That. That's a working oh. man. Working man, oh yeah, nice and dirty. There you go, how's it taste? Refreshing. I actually hate Dr. Pepper, so I don't want that sponsorship, but. <laughs> we'll get it for Zach. Dr. Pepper, send us a case of Dr. Pepper for Zach. I will paint my truck root beer brown for sure. Zach's getting everything transferred over to the new spindles. So the original factory backing plate just learned that one right now from Zach. Thanks, buddy. Making me look smart on camera. Mm -hmm. Needs to get trimmed per their picture right there. So, mm, about, about like there you this. go. Make, make it look like a yeah. picture. Oh, make it look like a picture. Oh, oh. Does it look like a Is picture? My line straight. Oh man, dude, you're an artist, dude. Kinda. Look at that. So I do appreciate McGoy's actually sending a real picture of one trimmed. That makes things easier. Uh -huh. huh? Instead of just saying trim where necessary. Well, oh, they'll give you measurements and mark off this and cut. Just send me a picture, man. Yeah, we love pictures. <laughs> Follow the line, okay? Inside the line. Don't don't cross the line. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. 
All right, I'll keep the prison shank. So I've got to give GM credit on the skid plate on the Z71. If you compare this to like some of the skid plates they put on the trucks, this is actually a... a I'll hold it, buddy. Don't fall. Ooh. Yo, look at that. Yeah. Makes me nervous when Zach has to cut stuff. Okay, I'm a professional. Oh, you're a professional? Yeah. All right, I trust you. So what do we end up having to trim? The upper ball joint stud stick, sticks out too too far. The axle's closer to the top than it is the bottom now. So you move the hub up. That's how they're getting their two inches. So one thing that just hit me while Zach is uh, finishing up on the front here is this thing's gonna look absolutely ridiculous having the uh, Z71 side steps with the aggressive off-road tire tread when they're like that far off the ground. They're currently already kind of useless at the stock height. I feel like I'm cheating on Milwaukee here by using this old snap-on. Let's see what this thing's all about. Hold on, one to 10, two or 12. So in pulling off these steps uh, on the side of the Tahoe here, I've already encountered three different size bolts. These are all different size. And then the ones up top right there, that are, you probably can't see, but those are all different sizes. So, three different size bolts to take off the side steps. Yep, removing those steps made a huge difference. I mean, I think we're ready for the low left, guys. It's gonna look a little weird on some, uh, some Goodyear all-terrain tires, but I think we'll be able to pull it off for now until the uh, real wheels and tires show up. Well, Zach has the front end put back together and he's doing some last minute trimming right there. This bolt down here barely clears the wheels. I guess with this kit, it says you must run 18s, and even with 18s, we're gonna have like, I don't know, we'll see when he's done putting it on there, but we just put it up right now, and there's like an eighth inch of clearance between that bolt and the actual wheel. Good thing is, it's gonna be going on some 26s soon, so we won't have to run into this issue for very long, but obviously, it's still gotta be drivable in the meantime to go back and forth between other shops to get the work done that we're gonna be doing to it. All right, let's see if she fits. <laughs> By the skinny, oh, oh. So we gotta go a little bit more. So you guys can see it, it rubbing in there. Let me see, let me get on the, the back side. That's, that's a little too tight of a tolerance for us. All right, fifth time's the charm. Fit trim repeat. A little bit more. Last wheel and tire going on. We got clearance? We have clearance. Look clearance. at that. Except for when it hits the weight. Yeah, all right, rip the weights off. We, yeah, we don't, we don't need the wheel weights. Good thing mom doesn't drive it. Yeah, it's not staying like this for long. <laughs> Here we go guys, setting her on the ground for the first time. Let's see what that lower life's about. Oh dude, you're not gonna be able to get your things out. <laughs> oh, are they loose? This one comes out. Yep, that one th this one's not coming out. It definitely sits significantly lower. I know for you lower guys, this ain't that low, but to me coming from lifted truck to two, three drop is, uh, that's pretty low. And it's still like wedged up on that thing. So we're not all the way down yet. All right, problem solved, check her up. Good. All right, now we'll really see how low she is. Yeah, dude. I don't know if I'm ready for this lifestyle, Zach. It's, it's, it's rough. You're talking to the kid that used to flip springs upside down and see Notch's truck and let the springs push the axle against the frame and just... That sounds safe. Now it's on down the road. There you go. Here she comes, first test drive. <laughs> Careful, don't scrape. We're real low now. So in case you guys are wondering what Randy does over here at Preston's, he, uh, his job, most important job at the end of the day is make sure the flailing inflatable arm man is uh, up on the roof. This is about his 15th attempt here. E easy guy, easy. Let's see. All right, unplug it. See if he stays up there. It's like the third attempt, all right? Oh, oh no, he's coming back. He's coming back. I got the tweakers will come over and they'll grab him. I want him to be safe. Stay up there, little buddy. All right. Try it again. You know what, sir? Fucking. There's no customers allowed in the shop, all right? Fuck. Somebody show me how to work the door. All right, I got faith in you this time. Right now, hit it. Oh, no, 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 we didn't win. All right, I give up. See, there's a northwestern southerly wind. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all Sometimes in my mind I just sit here and I'm guessing How can I find the answers? I don't even got the questions Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Oh man, the ground is much closer now Well guys, there she is in all of her lowered glory It uh, it definitely needs some 26s on there to actually 
you know, make it look better than the stock wheel tire combo. If any of you guys know what tire size I should run on 26 by 10s, let me know. I think it's like a 305 or something like that. I get lost with anything that's like metric tire sizes. So if you guys know what tire size I need to run, let me know that way. We don't run into any clearance issues or anything like that because my biggest worry with trying to cram 26s in there is rubbing. And we don't want to be trimming a bunch of stuff just in case we ever, you know, decide to lift this in the future. But all that's left now is I'm going to hop in this bad boy, take it home, and just see, uh, you know, how the ride handles being that it's lowered now. So with that, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. A huge, huge, huge thank you to McGoy's for partnering up with us on the on the SEMA Tahoe build, sending us the lower kit. I'll put a link down to McGoy's website. If you guys have anything lifted truck needs or even lowered SUVs, lowered trucks, McGoy's has kits for you guys, so make sure you guys go check them out. Another huge thank you to Zach, who's way over there, for uh, knocking this thing out for me today. Also, if you guys would be so kind as to give this video a like, get a thumbs up, and don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.